Hello! I thought I'd give you a brief rundown into guitar number two. Um, I had a great time doing great guitar build off, which you can see here. Um, I thought I'd make another one. So, what I'm going to do is I had lots of bits left over from my first build, cut my wood very, very sensibly, because I thought I can use this to make other bits and pieces. So, my neck is made out of leftover Edigbo from, the, uh, from my body. I've done a scarf joint because I've always wanted to do a scarf joint. To thicken it out, I've actually sandwiched a piece of beach Venetian blind up the top. That will either work or it won't. So there. Um, the design I'm keeping is the same because I basically have the templates already made. So this is all about improving upon what I did last time and just basically honing my skills and getting a bit better at it. Um, if you like, this is the Monday morning stir fry with leftovers from my other guitar. But I had a strip of maple left over from the neck, so I chopped it in half down the middle um, and glued that together to make a fingerboard. Tra la la. Body! Uh, I had this big lintel that actually came out of this room over there that you can't see. It's a chunk of this, basically. I used one half to make a fire surround, the other half I cut down the middle, flipped that way and made the body. I've already cut the body out <coughs> here. Uh, I quite like the look of it in the fact that the house was built in 64 so it's you know, getting off a 60 year old piece of wood. So I quite like how knackered it is. Now, I'm no expert. I'm fairly certain this is wood from a tree. Again, out of my old body, I had enough to make another top. Uh, this is a dig bow again. It's got quite a nice bit of boing in it. It's quite flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comfort card in this. And when I glue this on, it'll bend over the edge. Uh, I'm going to, like I did last time, I'm going to chamber this and put an F-hole in it. I didn't have enough body material to do uh, a heel carve last time. I think I'm going to try a bit of a heel carve if I've got enough room. Uh, I'm going to round over the edges on the back. Um, yeah, I'm erming a lot, so not to erm. Oh, yes, that's what I'm going to do. This isn't a particularly pretty piece of wood, it's okay, but it isn't. I've always wanted to try a fabric top. So, in my business, or one of my businesses, I sell a lot of multitubes, buffs. Now this, I think it's pretty awesome. So, if you split this down the middle, you actually have more than enough to cover a guitar body. Headstock as well, look at that, it's almost finished, isn't it? Um, I found a place on eBay that sells knackered stuff that's, well, second, basically. So I got a Wilkinson's short telly bridge that is supposedly tarnished for I think it's 15 quid, 16 quid. Um, I got a couple of knobs. Uh, again, tarnished. I think these were four pounds for two. There it is on there. It could probably fall off. I'll edit that bit out because that bit's shite. So anyway, yeah, I'm thinking that gold on that is really going to pop. Pickups. I've decided because I've never done it from the half. I don't know why I'm pointing to a blank piece of wood, but we can pretend. I'm going to have a telly neck pickup, I'm going to have a humbucker, I'm thinking of probably Tone Rider for both of them. The thing I can't decide is whether to go gold pickup, black surround on black, nickel gold on black, gold and gold on black, gold and black surround, iterations, iterations. I'm probably thinking gold on the black. Yeah, I do that. So that's where I'm at. I will update on Instagram. Like if you've liked, subscribed if you haven't subscribed for not very much content. Um, when this is all done, I'll do a demo of it again, hopefully. Um, and fingers crossed, that'll be good. So yeah, there we go.